Uh oh, I'm gonna lose you already. Boy, that was bad timing. Uh, I'm not drinking my own urine. I'm not into that stuff. <laughs> Happy Monday, 29th of April. Uh, it's about 6.30 p.m. Uh, we're going to change things up here a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about farming, but uh, you're not going to really see any farming. I'll tell you what's been going on. No. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I've got myself and Evan Williams and Mountain Dew Zero which is not very normal for me, but I don't have any Pepsi laying around, and I had a Mountain Dew Zero rolling around in my truck for an amount of time I, I really don't care to admit. But whatever, it still made a good mixer. Hope everybody's doing okay. All right. Welcome to our waterlogged wonderland. Holy crumps. I am not going to say a whole lot, though, because truth be told, even though this is a little dramatic, it was no more than two months ago, certain individuals were wondering if they should even acquire their seed, for God's sakes. So you got to take the good with the bad. That's the way I'm going to put it. You can see my little lake out there. Cow yards are a disgrace. Thank God for that north uh, that north end, though, that everybody knows about if you catch the channel from time to time. <coughs> I'm destroying a lot of footage out there, but it's all worth it for cow comfort and the calves. Calves. Got a pretty nice collection back there. Uh, I have full intentions of doing a nice video maybe tomorrow evening and giving you a nice little look at the calves. Uh, I shouldn't even say anything because I have a tendency to jinx myself. I'm one of those people. But uh, I'm batting a thousand right now. Uh, uh, proud, proud as can be. Happy. This weather didn't help. But uh, I've got a collection of calves. Uh, everybody's happy healthy uh, the birthings have been uh completely unassisted just things going well i'll get more into it tomorrow evening if if uh if we get back there and do a nice little video <coughs> um the one thing that does concern me is tomorrow morning i will be uh going through the entire herd with a bottle of new floor in my pocket though Last night, about 6 p.m., the floodgates opened, and that was the absolute coldest rain I've ever felt. And we're talking about uncomfortable. I ended up having two calves about 4 p.m. And so anyway, long story short, my words, I'm going to head to the cow yard tomorrow morning, obviously. Actually, I'm, I'm going to be out there tonight yet, but not fitting for a video. And uh, I'll be looking for what I like to call droop ears and uh we'll go from there all right we're going to change paces here a little bit folks we have had an extraordinary winter uh i started doing house home yard lawn tree maintenance in february for crying out loud now, it might not look like it to you, and I got a long ways to go. I've, I've really let things go here. Um, there's a lot more to do. If I was to show you the pile of tree limbs and uh, uh, the pruning and everything else that I did since uh, latter part of February... If I was to show you the pile, because I hold them all the way, you'd call me a liar. Uh, a lot of work had to be done. I ended up buying a pole saw, uh, which is fantastic. And just a lot of yard lawn maintenance. All right. I just got done. Excuse me. I ran out of material. This entire driveway has always been lined with apple trees that were put in many, 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 many moons ago. 
Well, over the years and everything else, and according to this, this spring's uh, maintenance, uh, what was left here, for the most part, got torn out of here. Well, it's time to renew. Anyway, I ended up buying 10 apple trees. Seven of them have been planted here. And I opted to go, and I'm going to tell you this story. I put this order in some time ago. I opted to go with all the Honeycrisp apple. <coughs> I'm not a pro at this stuff. I could not tell you what the other trees are. I do know that there's a couple of Red Delicious, and then uh, I want to say some Macintosh over there. We'll walk over there, too. Plus, I got something to show you, something I'm pretty a little proud about. So, and I, I ran out of mesh fencing, and uh, I'll probably go into town and get some more to do those and the, uh, the trees that I have left. I ordered 10 trees, seven Honeycrisp. They went in here, and I've got three left over that are, all three of them are different varieties. Well, my brother, his wife, and family, two younger children, uh, my niece and nephew, uh, godson. Um, it wasn't too long ago they acquired, purchased is the right word. Uh, myself and all my siblings, we have purchased everything from mom and dad just the way it's supposed to go. We're all we're all pretty stinking proud about that. <coughs> Anyway, I'm starting um, an apple orchard over there because there's the most pristine spot to do so. I'll show you it in time to come. I got three apple trees that are going to go there. It's a good start. I would like to do about five to ten apple trees a year. Um, fence lines, uh, woods lines, uh, anywhere acceptable and, and safe. I'm going to tell you something right now. I think my days of planting corn, sorghum, alfalfa, and anything else are over. I believe I'm going to start planting little apple seedlings and sell those. Because holy shit. I had no idea what they were worth. I put an order in with a uh, fantastic greenhouse nursery. Uh, not far from here like two months ago for these trees and they they just came in i just i just got them saturday i don't know if i touched on this or not folks but i had to disappear latter part of last week uh, a little bit of a hot hot potato was going on i'm gonna leave it at that and uh things have been a little bit of a ruckus when aren't they it's called life let's go for a walk oh whew. Uh, yeah, we need some dry down to start here, folks. I have got to get some sweet corn in the ground, but I'm not doing it until it's ready. Like I had mentioned, I hope it's within the next 10 days or so. <coughs> because that's what it's going to take. Another new tree went in here. Well, I sure feel like a good cigar tonight. I don't know what it is. Couldn't really do a whole lot today. Normal common chores. Uh, I've been in high, high mode of uh, manure. Uh, it, it's Life has all been about manure and calves. And uh, forget the manure today. I'll do more damage than good. But uh, a couple more trees here. I did it right. Followed the rules. Uh, the best that I could. I got all the protection here. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I said, these are all honey crisps. 
kind of all over the place here. Did I even tell you? There's a Honeycrisp tree in the very back paddock by camp. Naturally, right on the tree line. I don't know if it was just, uh, I don't know if it was planted or a natural tree, if that even exists. I don't know. But I'm here to tell you, they are the greatest apples there is. Um, myself and all the rest of the family members take many trips down there to see if some apples have fallen. One thing we don't like doing is shaking trees. Towards the end of the year, that's fine. But, uh, yeah, I opted for that. All right, another thing I took on here this year was uh, there was an old sign here with a nice old wooden wheel, something mom put in, mom and dad. Uh, real beautiful deal. Um, through all the years and everything else, it kind of got dilapidated pretty good. Um, so I tore it all out, and I guess I got kind of fancy, but uh, I'm, I'm proud as a peacock about it. Um, good old American flag, which of course I need to doctor because it's not supposed to be wrapped around like that. Uh, it's almost, it's disrespectful. I, I need, I shouldn't be doing that. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get on that later. But, uh, yeah, I did it right. Um, you know, some big six by sixes. There's concrete below, uh, two bags per uh, per pole. I let them sit and cure for a while. I even did it real correct, and I ended up hitting the telephone line <laughs> when I <laughs> when I augured uh, that one. But yeah, uh, pretty uh, pretty happy about it. Just a feel good ordeal, and it's time to <coughs> rejuvenate a little bit of this place because I have let it go since I've been here. Um, as you can see, the apple trees take a lot of abuse. Uh, truth be told, as hideous as this one looks, this is a big producer yet. It won't be another year or two or three, and this will be coming down, and I'll replace it. So, yeah. I trimmed this little area up here. Uh, I took a lot of twigs and branches and stuff that wasn't supposed to be here. Took it out of here. Brought in about 10, 12 bags of mulch. A uh, couple nice new little lights. And of course, uh, this was uh, afforded to the farm in 1982. Uh, as you could probably see by the sign, this, this farm was homesteaded in 1882 by my great-great-grandfather. So, uh, yeah. An old, old corn planter. I wish I could tell you um, if this was acquired somewhere or it was stowed away on the back 40 somewhere in the woods from this farm. I, I, I can't... I'm embarrassed that I can't tell you that, but, um, yeah, so that's it. We're playing home and garden. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it. So what the hell else we got going on? Uh, Unless a miracle happens, I don't see myself touching manure tomorrow. Like I said, you can do more damage than good. And I don't really care to be doing that. <coughs> Speaking the obvious. Um, 
I had a group of heifers. Uh, the heifers that were left over from the private sale that I had going on here, they sold on Friday downstate at Northern Michigan Livestock in Gaylord. Um, uh, I, pretty fair. I, I got to be happy with the outcome. There's always room to do better. Um, of course, I'm one of those. I don't shoot for the moon on everything, but um, pretty uh, pretty content on how that went. Daddy needs a new pair of boots, so thank God it went fair. Um, and yeah, that's about it, folks. Calves, calves, calves. Clean up, manure when I can get back to it. Fence line corners. Dad's joined the party. Um, Dad's actually put a lot of new fence corners in. I'm looking forward to showing you that to you. Uh, I know you probably can't hear it, but there's a cow that's going nuts back there. It's screaming for its calf. I got to go check that out here. I'm going back there anyway. I'm usually back there 10, 12, 14 times a day. Um, but yeah. Looking for things to dry out just a little bit so I can start a little tillage. And when it's appropriate, get that corn planter in the ground. I'm hoping like hell to get corn in. At least a, a, a nice amount. A, a bag. And a bag of sweet corn is 25,000 kernels. I'd like to get that in within 10 days. I don't know if that's possible. But uh, things can change in a hurry. We do have a fair amount of moisture in the horizon as well, though. Let's see if we get it. I don't know. That's it, folks. Good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, kind of keeping you in the loop here, what's going on. And uh, I can almost uh, all but promise you we're going to do a... <coughs> We'll do a uh, cow yard calf video tomorrow evening. I'll show you. I'll show you what the farm's got so far. Share some information with you. Bring my paperwork. Tell you some sires. Um, the only thing I will tell you right now is uh, Miss One Thousand did produce another bull calf here, a kept back bull, and it's architect. Um, and uh, yeah. That cow's going nutty back there. I need to check that out. We're going to talk to you sooner and later.